so this is basically a clinician corner in which we will discuss a clinical case and i would like to discuss with this case with my student dr nahil bilal that either uh, whether she is able to apply all the information that we have provided in two lectures and she is able to apply this information or not so dr nahil this is a 9 years class 2 skeletal patient presented with this uh, uh, intraoral findings so the patient age is 9 years would you like to treat this patient at the age of 9 years or not Uh, yes of course because it is a case of interceptive orthodontics so and also because it is a case of anterior cross bite and we always treat anterior cross bite the first time we see it so we will begin the treatment in order to avoid any further problems for example mandibular displacement any gingival problems or to avoid atresion and for the psychological and aesthetic benefits of the patient uh, i totally so agree. yes we will begin the i agree with you as you can see the uh, like the incisors are missing from her smile so it does definitely we treat the patient of the anterior cross bite in some in, in the mixed dentition stage as well for the benefit that you should already mention so what do you like to treat first in this patient so from where you will start the treatment of this patient the first thing that i'll address are the pathologies as i can clearly see that the patient has caries teeth and uh, there also might be some pain symptoms present in the patient so i will begin by addressing these problems first by treating the pathologies the caries teeth and by removing any pain symptoms and would you mind doing some filling of the upper teeth or not you will definitely be extracting this tooth and do you mind doing the fillings of these tooth or you would like to extract these tooth as you know so the prognosis and the life i can see of these uh, primary teeth are very little so uh, i believe instead of no in case of poor prognosis yeah are you are you so be, be, begin with extraction of those teeth okay so that's good that's good so so the what questions you would like to ask in the history of this uh, of this patient i will ask about the skeletal proportions of the parents and siblings of the patient because in case there are any skeletal problems present in the patient they might also be present in the parents or the siblings of the uh, patient so i can get some good amount of information from this history uh, and uh, other than would, that i will you would be basically excluding the dental or the skeletal cross bite by asking the question about the history exactly yes okay, okay. so and um, other than that i can also ask about the time of exfoliation of the um, maxillary teeth deciduous teeth as as you are yes. expecting the the retained deciduous teeth could be the possible etiology for the palatal ex, uh, exfoliation yes. or the deflected path of the eruption of these teeth okay you would be yes. asking about so dr mulahid would you like to tell me how how you differentiate that this cross bite is of dental region or the skeletal region um we can differentiate it on the basis of incise inclination and uh, also on the basis of class 2 skeletal pattern okay. because uh, the class 2 skeletal pattern is clearly visible by extraoral examination and the upper incisors are considerably retroclined okay so that is how that's how you you conclude that this cross bite is skeletal okay it's pretty pretty nice so dr mahil would you like to tell me that what you would like to examine in this patient categorically in the examination what you will be observing in this patient um the first thing that i will examine will be the cocr ship and um other than that i think there are high chances of atresion in this patient especially on the labial segment and uh, on the incisal edges so i can examine atresion any chances of atresion and uh, other than that um i will examine the perio health of the patient perfect very nice very nice so dr mulai uh, what appliance you would like to uh, choose for this particular patient and why i think at this particular time we will proceed our treatment with a removable appliance but later on at the adolescent growth spurt we can treat the class 2 skeletal pattern with a reversible head care so i think uh, currently we will begin with a removable appliance and why removable appliance Uh, because at this time we only require uh, the tipping movement for uh, the retroclined upper incisors mm. and uh, for the correction of mild overjet 
we don't really need I, reverse a reverse over jet reverse over jet because yes. here you have reverse yes. over jet and i i do agree with your idea of collecting the class 2 but uh, would you would you would you like to treat this patient at the age of 9 years or would you like to treat uh, would you like to wait for no, the uh, no we will wait until the adolescent growth spurt okay okay that's wonderful i do agree with the idea of the removal blinds because uh, this is only a tipping movement is required and uh, there is some, some mild uh, reverse over jet that can be easily corrected with the removal blinds and uh, okay and you have do have optimal space for the incisors as well uh, you may extract this canine baby canine as well and this there would be no harm yes. and after the extraction of this canine you would get ample space for uh, the bringing right okay please tell me okay, what variables and factors are uh, important for the success of the removal blinds in the patient of the anterior cross bite the first factor that we need to consider is the type of movement that we require because the removable blinds can only bring about tipping movement and okay. uh, other than that we need to have ample space and the patient must be well motivated because um, patient compliance is very important for the use of removable blinds and, and um, yeah there yes and, and i do agree with and the idea there, of the remove plans because there you have ample space for in which the retroclinal upper incisors can come brought forward into the aligned position okay yes, yes. and um, removable plans can be used or used only in case of a very mild uh, reverse overjet mm, and so there you have one another. mild reverse. okay that's yes. good that's good perfect that's all a uh, general a good general dentist sh should be knowing about any case of the anterior cross bite and the choice of lines. That's wonderful. Good luck. Thank you.